guys, Dr. Robert Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Um, I wanted to do a quick update video today. Uh, the reason I wanted to do an update video is because I have um, been, uh, I've, I've caused myself an injury in the gym uh, and I realised that when uh, I made a video a few weeks ago about uh, anti-inflammatories that help joint pain, um, I missed off one of the obvious ones um, that is now helping me to, to recover from this injury. Uh, so I wanted to, to, you, to do this video as a quick update. Now the reason possibly that I didn't include this is because I, it's not perhaps um, a substance that you would take every day. It's perhaps not a substance that um, you would find uh, you know, in your arsenal of, um, you know, perhaps uh, long-term chronic joint pain. Uh, I see it more of something that's very good uh, at helping uh, acute um, injuries. Uh, and it's been very well evidenced in the uh, scientific literature um, for that purpose. Uh, and the substance is bromelain in pineapple. Um, now, the, the substances I talked about in the previous video were fish oils, glucosamine and ginger. Uh, and they're the sort of substances you could take, you know, every day in small amounts. And over time, uh, that would help fight chronic joint pain. You know, the type of joint pain you get uh, as you get older, aches and pains, uh, you know, nothing too serious, but, you know, a, a pain that can be, uh, you know, quite you know, uh, discomforting on a daily basis. Uh, I see bromelain as being useful in a, in a different way. Bromelain is a, you know, very effective anti-inflammatory. Uh, it works, um, it, it, you know, there's, the mechanisms have been investigated. It seems to work by inhibiting uh, inflammatory uh, prostaglandins, which is, we've seen uh, many other substances do this. Um, fish oils in particular are very good uh, at, um, um, inhibiting um, the inf the inflammatory prostaglandins, um, but bromelain appears to be uh, you know particularly particularly good at this. It also has um, the ability to break down fibrin, uh, which means that um, you know this may contribute to its anti-inflammatory effects. Because obviously, when there's an acute tissue in uh, injury, there uh, a blood clot would form in that uh, likely form in that um, in that you know area uh, and this could be you know a muscle pain it could be a joint pain um, it really where there's chronic um, uh, sorry where there's very acute uh, tissue inj injury uh, bromelain has been shown to be very effective um, so anyway it, you know it, this isn't just anecdotal I've, I've found over the years that pineapple is very helpful I do take pineapple when I do get injured I, uh, I try and increase uh, the amount that I eat um, so I was lifting weights I've damaged my back um, very painful when anyone that's had a back injury will know this is a, a recurring injury that I've had for a long time um, it's something that will probably never go away I have to accept that I'm going to um, every now and then this is going to flare up and cause me uh, problems it lasts you know the best part of a you know a week until it's uh, you know until I can't feel it uh, and then you know I go back to go back to normal and it, it doesn't seem to to affect me in any other way apart from you know every now and then but what I find is that when this does flare up um, if I turn to bromelain uh, it's very helpful now you can get bromelain uh, in supplements um, and they usually have the best supplements will have an indication of how many um, enzyme units they have uh, per capsule uh, and this is usually given as gelatin digesting uh, units uh, because because bromelain is a, a proteolase it's a, a protein breaking uh, enzyme uh, they test the uh, efficiency of the of the compound against uh, gelatin which is a protein uh, and the amount of uh, enzyme required to break down a certain amount of gelatin is then given as these GDUs so you could, the best supplement should have this some indication of the amount of enzyme units uh, and it can vary between supplements but what I tend to find is that um, if you look in the literature it's much easier to get bromelain from whole pineapple uh, if you consume whole pineapple uh, I, and I, I've always uh, thought that it's it's better to get um, these substances from the original plant if you can um, supplements are great uh, but then there's obviously question marks about uh, the freshness of the supplement, uh, you know, uh, the quality of the supplement. You know, some manufacturers are obviously going to be high quality, but there is always question marks. If you're eating the original fruit and vegetable, you can usually uh, guarantee that there will be, uh, you know, it, it's 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 reasonably fresh and it's going to contain some, uh, you know, consistency within uh, in terms of the amount of phytochemicals it has. So I feel that eating whole pineapple uh, is a better way to get uh, bromelain uh, you could eat, you could drink pineapple juice as long as it hasn't been too processed if you don't like pineapple this you know you could take supplements 
Um, but if you uh, if you do get a tissue injury, I would recommend you having a look at bromelain. Have a look in the literature. Have a look uh, online at what it can do. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that it is a very good anti-inflammatory. But like I say, I really I really see it being used as a as a kind of a a, um, a substitute for an aspirin or an ibuprofen tablet. It's a it's something that's very good at um, acute tissue injuries it's very good at affecting uh, sports injuries if you're the type of person that gets injured in sport quite frequently um, you know you could keep for example um, some supplements of bromelain um, uh, handy if you did get injured and then you know as and when you had the ability to go and buy fresh pineapple you could uh, you could use that there is some evidence that um, tinning of pineapple might reduce um, the uh, amount of bromelain contained within the pineapple and this is obviously related to the the processing that it undergoes but then you have a look at other uh, studies that do find that there is a, a, a certain amount of bromelain in tin pineapple but I've always questioned whether uh, the phytochemicals are uh, stable uh, and able to be maintained within tin fruit so I would always turn if you can to fresh pineapple uh, which seems to be to me um, you know from my experience the best source uh, and you know it's very difficult to to judge anecdotally how good these uh, these substances are, but um, it, you know it, it it does it does seem to work. And then when you look at the scientific literature as well, there is good evidence to back that up. So this isn't just um, anecdotal evidence on its own. There's many many papers that have looked at um, you know bromelain from different sources in supplements, uh, in uh, whole pineapple, in tin pineapple comparisons, uh, looking actually at the, the molecular mechanisms of how this works. It's not exactly clear how pineapple does have this um, anti-inflammatory effect. What is known is that bromelain is a, a protein digesting enzyme. Um, and it was originally thought that it would be very difficult to get these enzymes into the uh, into the blood, into the circulation, because they're proteins. Uh, you would have thought that they would be uh, broken down by the protein digesting apparatus in our guts. We have hydrochloric acid in our stomach. We have uh, protein digesting enzymes such as um, you know trypsin, um, pepsin, uh, and these these enzymes should attack uh, proteins and break them down. But it's it's quite clear from studies that um, bromelain gets gets into the blood as uh, in its effective enzyme state. Um, so that's a very important part of the biological activity of bromelain. If it can get into the blood in its original enzyme state, um, it has two implications. Firstly, it means that it can that enzyme can then work in our, uh, you know, it does have a chance of working in our physiology, and therefore that might be uh, one of the explanations to, as to how pineapple is, you know, has this anti-inflammatory effect. Um, but it also suggests that other enzymes from other foods are able to get into our system, um, and many books have been read about, have uh, been written about this. Um, you know, the enzymes in foods are very uh, important, and it does appear that they do get into our into our blood, uh, and they have, um, you know, they have effects. And I think this is um, somewhere that research will go in the future to see, you know, exactly what these proteins can do uh, when they interact with our, you know, with our biochemistry. But certainly, bromain, bromelain has this anti-inflammatory effect. So see this as an addendum to that other video. Uh, there's nothing wrong with consuming protein uh, with consuming uh, pineapple regularly. Uh, I have a friend that consumes uh, tins of pineapple after he's trained uh, and that might go some way to protecting him from you know chronic inflammation um, uh, you know there's nothing wrong with consuming pineapple on a on a regular basis uh, I don't see it as a you know possibly as a as a you know as a as a fruit that you would eat every day uh, but there's nothing wrong with that um, you know people eat apples every day there's nothing that's going to it's not going to do you any harm consuming pineapple every day if you if you like pineapple uh, and you want to benefit from the anti-inflammatory effects in a, in a more chronic uh, long-term fashion um, then yeah, I think I think that could be a benefit. But you know, this video is really about if you have a tissue injury, if if you're in a lot of pain, uh, if you you know you don't really want to turn to painkillers, you don't really want to take an aspirin or ibuprofen, but you want something that's equally effective. Uh, in, in you know looking at the evidence and and looking at the you know the anecdotal stories of people taking bromelain, uh, it's it seems to be a very good alternative to turning um, to know to some of the pharmaceuticals that can that can limit pain. So I hope you found that video interesting. As always, eat well, stay healthy and protect yourself. Uh, and I will see you soon for another video. Take care.